Morning. Morning. Saturday morning. It's Saturday! It's here, Greg. It's not Monday. Tea and toast, Saturday. It's not Friday. It's Saturday. Coming up on today's episode, we have got farts from around the world, which is a feature all about farts from different places in the world. Because you don't know this, but farts are different around the world. What else have we got coming up, Greg? Do you want me to look on here? Yeah. It, uh, we've got sequels that you didn't know even existed. And we've got Fact Fight, where you and I fight it off with facts. I'm glad you got that right, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and our website of the week. What do you think, Greg? It's all new. Can't believe it. It feels completely different, even though we've got a new table and a new telly and that's it really. Some but shelves. Some shelves, yeah. Uh, but it all feels different. It's a Saturday. It is Saturday. We are here to take you back to the old days, like it used to be going live sort of thing. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. We're not that good though, are we? What? Then Zoe Ball? Philip Schofield. Are oh, you going right back? Gordon T. Gopher. Ed the Duck. Yeah. So if we manage to capture even a little bit of that spirit of that Saturday morning TV, we'll be happy, won't we? We will be. We will be very happy. Greg, shall we tell them about <laughs> the ideas we've got for the series going forward? The series going forward? Going forward. Go on then, go on then. Well, every Saturday morning we are going to be here with you on YouTube, Tea and Toast Saturday. <laughs> but, haven't done that for a while, have you? What? Had a drink. Oh, I thought you were, oh, right. Um, and we want you to get involved with the show. Next week... It's all about everybody joining together. Tell them how, Greg. I don't know how. Fridge of Fame. Oh, the Fridge of Fame. The great idea that was, wasn't it? It was a great idea of mine. No, no it wasn't. Well, we're going to have, you know, the Wall of Fame? Well, we want you to get involved. We're gonna, pictures can be sent in, drawings, proper old school stuff, and we will put you on the fridge, which isn't here, but it will be, won't it? We'll stick you on the fridge, and you could be the star of the show all the way through it next week. You can email us your pictures, photographs, drawings, anything you like to go on the Fridge of Fame at two, in fact, what's the email address, Greg? We've got an email address? Yes. I don't know. It is tnt at totgoo.com. So that's tnt at t-o-t-g-u dot com. Got it, Greg? No. I'll get aboard with it on for next week. Is it scrolling now as we speak? Yes. Right, got you. <laughs> Send us your pictures and we and you might be on the fridge of fame. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? But, Greg, mm -hmm. let's move swiftly on to our first of our new features, which is called... <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Farts from around the world. Well, as you know, Jason, uh, they don't know this, but we know this because we do it. Uh, the retro collectors... What are you talking about, Greg? Retro collectors. Yeah. We film retro collectors, yeah. don't we? And there'll be a new episode coming very soon, won't there? But we've taken one of the things that we found from the car boot and we've brought it into Tea and Toast. We had to. Tea and Toast Saturday. Uh, and you won't know this as well, but secretly, behind the scenes, all that fun fart fries that we used to do, I've won Jason over. He was laughing at them. You were, weren't you? And then we came across this book here. What's it called, Greg? It's called, Jason, Farts Around the World. <laughs> Brilliant. So, obviously later on, uh, whether Jason wants to still do this, it doesn't matter, because I'll speak to the editing department just over there. We're still going to do a fun fart feature. But this is what we found. Yes, we're still doing it, Jason. We've got to do a clip every week. It's got to be done. It won't be a Saturday morning without a good fart. So, Jason, every week for the next... How many are there in there? About 12. For about 12 weeks. It's 10. It's 10. For about 10 weeks, we're going to show you the different sounds and noises and farts people make from around the world. So, would you like to see the first one, Jason? Yes, so you're just going to go through them in numerical order. We'll right? just go through it in numerical order. So let's oh. start with France, because that's where the, uh, the Euros are being held at this precise moment, aren't they? They are. So it tells you all about France and a little bit about the French people there. And what you do is you press the corresponding button there and it'll give you the fart noise <laughs> that French people, that this bookmaker, thinks they make. Do you ever wonder why you watch this? I wonder why we're doing this, Jason. 
So what you do is you read about it and then you press the button and this is how they think French people fart. So I'll press it and then I'll move it up to the thing. So can you hear this? <laughs> I think you're going to have to play it into the... So, uh, so I'll just stand up the and just because the microphone's here and you'll hear this. <laughs> so that is what they think French people fart like. So join us, so join us next week for Japan. Wow, I can't wait. <laughs> What a great French fart. Thanks. Yeah, it's a good section though, isn't it? Greg, I actually really like that new feature. Well, coming up later, Jason, there'll be still the fun fart feature. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Not. In the meantime, we'll be back after this commercial break. Commercial break? Hold on a minute, you haven't told me about commercial breaks. Watch this. We've got commercial breaks. Yeah, watch. All right, I will. The Sword of Omens, safe in the hands of Lion O, Lord of the Thundercats, fighting to keep it from Mumra, whose wicked eyes light up with a secret ring. Thundercats take to the Thunder Tank, transforming to resist the evil mutants. <laughs> Who will win, good or evil? Now you can decide. Thundercats by Rainbow Toys. Church of Truths is still only 10 pence. Remember, loose talk costs news agents. Chew it. Chew for victory. Okay, Greg, would you like to hear about a sequel that you didn't even know existed? I'll tell you what, though, Jason, I want all them toys, though. I mean, that, that's, that's amazing. Are they still available? Well... I mean, Woolworths. Watch, watch retro collectors and oh. find out. Oh, yeah, very good, yeah. These chairs aren't very comfortable, are they, James? They're all right. What do you expect for £60? £15. So, would you like to hear about a sequel you didn't know existed? Uh, yes, I think I would. That sounds a great section, Jason. All right, Greg. Go on. Think about an 80s film that yeah. you loved. Yeah. Then think about Dolph Lundgren. Well, there's only one then, isn't there? What? Oh, no way. Have they done He-Man 2? No, it's not, Greg. The 80s film and Dolph Lundgren aren't really related. The 80s film I'm talking about starred Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator? No. And it was filmed in the same place as my beloved Goonies. Oh, Kindergarten Cop. Yes. Well, did you know that there is a Kindergarten Cop 2? No, but there isn't, is there? There is. No, but there isn't. And it stars Dolph Lundgren. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does, No, it Greg. doesn't. It doesn't. Here, I'm going to watch. Watch. Watch this. Oh, I will. Seattle's most prestigious elementary school. Children are given the guidance they need. Deep breath in, deep breath out. To become good citizens of the world. Fortunately, this academy just hired the perfect teacher. Dolph Lundgren is Kindergarten Cop 2. Jason, what the canal was that? Kindergarten Cop 2, Greg. There's no way that's real. Have you just put that together? No, I swear it's real. How can that... Was, when was it out then? 91, 93, 94? 2016, Greg. <laughs> it's 2016 now, <laughs> Jason. Know. Well then... I don't remember watching film with Claudia. No, because sadly it didn't make it to the cinema. It went straight to DVD, Greg. Oh, Straight yeah. to streaming on some sites. I, 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 I can't. For the life of me, figure out why. No, nor me. I reckon Ghostbusters go straight to DVD. Ghostbusters! <clears throat> so that was uh, Kindergarten Cop 2, that, Greg. That was two weeks of Ghostbusters invent, can't remember that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way that. I mean, surely they must have thought, you know, we, I mean, who actually thought, let's do this, let's put a big name in it. Well, they've obviously tried uh, to get Arnie, haven't they? And then it'll go to the cinema. Arnie said no. So they've gone, who else can we get 80s action star to do it? Probably wrong Sly. He said no way. Sly? Sylvester. Yeah, but that's, you know, I'd imagine his pals call him Sly. Well, I am his pal. So uh, they've phoned Dolph, who hasn't done anything since Expendables 3, and he's gone, yeah, right, yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Wait, well, that's atrocious. And in fact, it's probably available in all good, good pound stores right now, I imagine. <laughs> So, yeah, keep an eye out. That was Kindergarten Cop 2. Now, you might think... It's still Saturday, isn't it? It is Saturday. Can't believe it. You might think... I do now that again. we've copied this 
section over from Fun Fact Friday. Well, we've done that with everything, haven't but we? But this is completely different. Why is it? This is fact fight. Great. Why? So, you and I have each chosen a fact. I have, yes. And we are going to tell our viewers our facts. Right. Then they are going to decide by way of a comment which of our facts is the best. Okay. Well, I think you've won this one then. You haven't even heard my fact? But mine's rubbish. <laughs> I didn't realise it was a fight. Well, let's hear yours first then, Greg. Okay then. Brace yourself, world, because here we go. Did you know the 29th of May, which unfortunately has just gone, is actually a themed day? All right, what's it? Well, you know we have um, like Easter and all them day. Well, you know, well, Christmas Day, obviously. Well, did you know that 29th of May, Jason, is national put your pillow on your fridge day? Beat that. Fact. So, Greg, did you know that in 1966, when the game Twister was first released, it was almost banned, with one critic labelling it Sex in a Box. Whose fact do you think was the best? And if you think they're both rubbish... Why, why, was, why was it Sex in a Box? Because of the positions that you get into. Remember, Greg, when you play Twister, sometimes you could be bent over backwards by someone. Yeah, but let's leave that conversation there. But it's usually your mum. Well, you, you play Twister with... We really need to stop now, I think. Yeah, let's leave it there. Mm. Whoever's fact you think is the best, let us know in the comments and we'll see who has won the fact fight for this week. Well, it's going to be you, isn't it? Who knows? Well, I didn't know it was going to be a fight, did I? I don't well, you'll be more prepared next time. I will be, because I'll lose this one, but I'll win next week, Jason. Fact. I mean, that's amazing. What is? Them new intro graphic thingies for me. Well, new show, new attitude and all that. New attitude? From me. You've got a new attitude? Yeah. Really? Towards your joke. Oh, have you? Yeah. All oh, right. Speaking of which, you know, new intro. This is a good one, Jason. I've cleverly done a link here, which you'll find out in a minute as well. Jason, did you know farting in an elevator is wrong on so many levels. What is wrong with you, Greg? It's what is it all about farts all the time? Because it's a funny noise, isn't it? I mean, listen. <laughs> that could be in week number six or Who seven. Knows? Who knows? Uh, well, that links nicely anyway, Jason. To what? The new fun fart feature. It's not all about farts, but I think this, this particular section on farts is quite funny. So, why don't we show the fun fart feature to make your Saturdays a real farting st start to the day. It doesn't work. We used to do fun fart for all you. Know, Can I apologise to our more sensible viewers? For s Saturday... Shh, shh. No, we can't do that one, can we? It's f fart. We'll just call it fun fart feature, yeah? Can we edit in, ask the editing department to press play? Well, Greg. Saturday night at the movies. Who cares? It's Saturday morning. Saturday morning in the studio. Oh. It's almost the end of our first tea and toast Saturday. But I've just got time to tell our viewers about our website of the week. What's this then? This is a little new thing called website of the week. Well, you didn't run, you didn't run this past me in the uh, rehearsal. Don't, we don't rehearse this. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, we've all been sat in the room with all the production team, like, like the big TV companies do. Sat there with our glasses on, reading through the script. Really shit. You don't tell them we're in a shed. Anyway. It's a big set shed though, isn't it? It's a big what? It's shed. <laughs> shed. Anyway. It's, it's that far feature, it's got to my head. Um, I'd like to tell you about website of the week. It's called retrocollect.com. But what are you doing? What is this? This is website of the week. Have they paid you? No. 
They are, haven't they? They haven't. Have they funded the new logo? No. Really? Yeah. So we're doing this for nothing? Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Because it's a good website. Is it? Yeah. Tell me about Have a look. Retrocollect.com is a very good website and it is full of information about retro games and things like that from all sorts of consoles mm -hmm. um, dating back to yeah. some older consoles mm -hmm. up to some more modern consoles and the very good thing about this is you can start your own database on there so if you're a collector Greg you can set up an account and then you can start ticking off the things you've already got so when you get to the car boot That's like amazing. us and you go and you see a game and you think have I got that I can't remember you can just have a look on Retro Collect It'll tell you if you've got it or not. You see, I'm looking behind the camera, Jason, and they don't get to see this because they never will because the state of the organisation of the stuff that we've bought from the Retro Collecting Show is all to be seen there, isn't it? Yes, and it's marvellous. And it is marvellous, but we also have everything about 12 times, don't we? Yeah, and if only we'd used Retro Collect, then we might not have everything 12 times. But it is currently only for video games at the moment. But the good thing about it is it tells you what percentage of the collection you're up to. So... Say you've filled it in all your Nintendo games, it'll say you are 20% of the way to having a full collection of Nintendo games. Very good. Check it out, retrocollect.com. Oh, not being sponsored. Perhaps next time they'll sponsor us. Oh, you're trying to... Oh, I've got you now. Yeah, I've got what you're doing. Very clever. Psychologically very clever, that, Jason. In the meantime, don't forget to send us your pictures, uh, drawings, photographs, anything to the email address. What is it, Greg? TNT at topgoo.com. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Uh, send us your pictures and you might make it onto the fridge of fame. Hey, there, there will be a fridge here at some point. It's not that we haven't bought it yet or anything. In the meantime. Did you just burp then? A little bit, yeah. You're burping on the first episode yeah. of TNT Saturday. Can't Santa believe there. it, can you? Can't believe it, Jason. In the meantime, we will see you again next Saturday. Have we got an outro? I don't know. Someone's been asking for an outro. Let's see. Okay. See ya.